How's it going everyone? Today I'm excited because I get to show you one of the best features of Bug Snag, the search and segmentation capabilities. It's truly some state-of-the-art stuff here, so let's get started. Okay, so the search bar is located at the top of the error inbox and is one of the most powerful tools within Bug Snag. But before you even get to that, you have these quick filters to the left. So let's say you want to look for open errors occurring in production that were seen in the latest release and with an error severity and the inbox will automatically update as search terms are added or removed. Okay, now back to the search bar. If you aren't sure which field to search against, just type any term to search the contents of your stack traces. Bugsnack supports partial matches against the error class, message, file name, method, and context fields. Here's where I get excited. You can also use the advanced search builder, which is amazingly robust. You can get very specific with your search, so on top of the stack trace, you can factor in the workflow status, a specific user, maybe someone who wrote into support with a crazy issue, and even environment like OS, device manufacturer, and model. And right now I'm using a mobile project demo, but for like a front end project, you can search for browser name and version. For back end, you can search for host name, things like that. Now back to what I said about searching for a specific user, if you're worried about user privacy, you can always create an anonymized user ID to send a Bugsnag while keeping track of the user records on your end. Also Bugsnag has a self-hosted option, so there are different methods. Okay, now back to the search builder. This is the last tab and it's amazing. It's the custom filter tab. You can attach custom metadata to your error reports so that you can search for something specific to your business. For example, if your business has many subscription levels, you can create a custom filter to find and prioritize errors experienced by VIP accounts. Another great way to use custom filters is for A-B tests or other engineering experiments. Okay, so if you create an error segment that you may want to return to in the future, you can bookmark the segment to save your search criteria. You can choose to keep the bookmark private or share it with all the collaborators on your project. And these bookmarks will display under the workflows on the left side of the inbox. Shared bookmarks will have a multi-user icon and upon hover, you'll be able to see who created and last edited the bookmark. All right, now you know how to segment error data in Bugsnag. Up next is a video on our timeline view. So I'll see you there. 